Well, finally have snow again. Actually looks like uh, late December. I think it's the 30th today. Almost into 2024. And uh, what a year I think we have coming. <laughs> um, probably going to be pretty insane this coming year, being it's a, a selection year. Not an election year because we can't really elect anybody into office. We don't really have a real choice. Um, our leaders are selected, but uh, yeah. Um, just a quick ministry update here, just to let everybody know where we're at, what things are going on in our lives. Um, still dealing with vehicle issues. AC compressor was fixed, and uh, now the fan, to turn the fan thing on, now that one's shot. Only works if you crank it up on high and it makes this really weird noise. So, um, our Chevy Tracker that we bought on eBay, uh, I tried to contact the seller. Uh, he wrote back a really nasty little email, called me a Northern Socialist. I think I might have said that in another video. Um, if I haven't, then there you go. You heard it for the first time. So, uh, reported him to eBay uh, for being a bad seller and whatever because he deleted his listing before I could give any kind of a feedback. Now it was a classified ad, so I don't know if there's some leeway there that he was able to do that, or I have no idea, but so as it stands right now, it's been probably, I'd say at least a week and a half since uh, eBay wrote back and said, okay, we're going to look into this whole thing. Haven't heard a word since then. I get it's the holidays, you know, whatever, but uh, just a little bit frustrating um, having to deal with this issue just wanted to buy a cheap vehicle didn't want to spend a huge amount of money um, but thankfully the Lord has been providing for us and um, we're trying to save up our money to get a decent vehicle from Japan listen in to my viewers here a Japanese vehicle Toyota or Honda or something like that or Nissan or whatever else we did have a Nissan car a little while ago and um, Nissan Altima had that a few years ago and um, it was really a good car, did really good for us. So, might just have to go back to that again and ditch my uh, um, planned obsolescence American made vehicles, unfortunately. Wish it wasn't that way here in America, but it is. So, um, <sighs> yeah, try to do the right thing, try to live, you know, inexpensive, low cost, try to keep our costs down and everything. And um, this is what I get for it. So more than likely, right now, the tracker is just, uh, the check engine light came on. It was making a terrible uh, rattling noise underneath. And then it sounded like it was grinding. I have no idea what's going on underneath there. Something came loose and it's rubbing against something or I don't know what. Uh, the engine's missing terribly now. It's just it barely can even run down the road. And um, I, I think that the starter probably needs to be fixed as well because one time I was out, you know, tried to get it started, it wouldn't start. And I kept trying and finally it started, which is usually a sign that the starter is going out. So, um, but more than likely I'm going to have to spend money to fix it up so I can sell it for a loss. Uh, just rotten, you know. And I just want to say this, just to encourage some of you out there. Um, there's a lot of stuff we go through as Christians and a lot of it, quite frankly, we can't explain. I don't understand why I'm going through this. Um, I've been through spiritual attacks before. It's nothing new. It isn't some kind of a thing of though some strange thing happened to me or whatever. No, I understand, but it, it frustrates me because I have to spend so much time on the things of this world and, um, even though I try not to. And, uh, you know, I have to go places and, and look about other vehicles and, you know, am I going to have enough money to buy another vehicle? And, uh, so, sorry if the video is just blurring in and out a little bit because it's getting dark. Um, probably about 4.30 or so, 4, 4.30 here in the evening. But, um, so, you know, just... Uh, if you pray for us out there, hopefully you do. Um, if you could just pray for the Lord's leading. I don't want to get another lemon vehicle. Um, 
you know, and the thing is, you know, I'm, I'd like to, we would have definitely enough money right now if I could sell both the Tracker and the uh, Cherokee, the XJ, but then I don't have a vehicle to get back and forth here. You know, as you can see behind me, it's not a lot of snow. It's maybe three, four inches of snow, but you know, the roads are a little bit iffy and our uh, Ford uh, Crown Victoria uh, police interceptor car, seen that in other videos, um, that car there is okay. It's not too bad if you put weight in the back and I actually got some studded snow tires for the back. So I'm going to be trying that out soon, but you know, the problem is here with the, the warm temperatures, the ground thaws, it gets muddy and it doesn't do good in mud. Studded snow tires aren't going to help you in mud. So I actually got it stuck the one time here. Um, I can use my plow truck to pull it out, but then, you know, there's other issues. Always something to distract me from the ministry. So I have a bunch of video or uh, letters that were sent to me. People asking questions, I'm going to try to get to that in the new year, early on. Um, still like to uh, do a few other things with the shirts and the hats and things like that. So I've been really knocked off course on that. Um, been doing some study on uh, different issues with the Jews and Israel and things like that. Again, you know, some of the, what is the Bible saying about the Jews in the end times and and whatever there's a lot of anti-semitic stuff out there and i get a lot of people you know going after me because i defend the jews and i defend israel and so <clears throat> um i'm going to be coming out with some stuff on that um but those are the projects that are coming up here but uh beautiful snow out here but um the vehicle issue is just taking so much time right now and um as far as the housing thing is concerned, uh, again, this thing of the Fed is going to pivot and lower interest rates now. You know, the markets are responding to that and they're, oh, the housing market's going to be great. It's going to turn around. The housing prices won't come down and all this other stuff. And yet a lot of the economists are saying, no, it's the housing prices will come down and it's going to crash when they do. So um, if you're in the market for a house, do not buy one right now. Um, again, the Fed, uh, you know, pausing on the interest rate thing, um, it's going to make a lot of unemployment happen. A lot of people are losing their jobs right now. You know, you can see that. And, uh, the holiday spending was kind of weird this year for people. And, um, so, uh, when the Fed does start to lower interest rates, um, it's going to cause a, a very high spike in inflation and the cost of living is going to go bonkers and a lot of people are going to suffer. Um, but, you know, we're in the end of that dollar cycle. Uh, the, the fiat currency that was created by the Federal Reserve with the whole, you know, creature on Jekyll Island thing, the, that whole thing, G. Edward Griffin's book, you can read about this. Um, but the fractional reserve banking, the fiat currency, whatever you want to all the different things that you get, in, get into the studying this whole economics issue. Um, it's crashing. And they want, to, they want to strategically time it so that they can bring in the Fed now, central bank digital currency thing, just go total digital, which would be a horrible thing. Um, a lot going on, brethren. Uh, one thing does not change year to year, and that is your need to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Corporate uh, worship is fine. It's great to be around other Christians and, and things. That's fine. But if that's all that you have and you don't go home and you don't uh, pray to the Lord and talk to the Lord in private and read His Word on your own and think about His Word, meditate upon the Scriptures, if you're not doing that, then uh, you need to check yourself because you're not right with God. You have to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, very important, especially this coming year. I think that there's going to be some real violence happening. Um, Lord only knows what's going to be happening this coming year. Uh, looking back at 2023 with all the bank closures and all the other wacky stuff that's been happening and the illegal immigrants coming in here, and, and it's illegal. It's not a good thing. Um, you know, the devil and his people are trying to destroy the bounds of the habitation here. 
and uh, bring in people that shouldn't be here and they're making all kinds of problems another issue but um, all these bad things that happened uh, the Lord has still blessed us all having food and raiment let us be there with content and uh, the Lord has been good and thank him uh, the Bible talks about sacrifices of thanksgiving you thank the Lord for uh, all that he's done for you and uh, if you're still watching this and you're looking at me in the camera um, God's been good to you you're still alive you're still breathing and uh, the worst that can happen to you is heaven remember that all right uh, if you're saved you are eternally secure uh, you are sealed until the day of redemption so don't worry about it but uh, at the same time make sure that you're planning make sure that you're looking and seeing the evil coming and saying okay I need to be ready I need to think about some things here pray about it what do you want me to do Lord so that will be it I have to shut this video down before it gets darker out here and you won't even be able to see me after a while so we will see everybody in upcoming videos please do pray about us about this vehicle issue it's really vexing right now having to go through this um, I just I needed to reset some things and you know get rid of two bad vehicles and get one good vehicle and uh, so please do pray if you have any suggestions of a good vehicle to get put it in the comments section below see you in future videos